Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hey everyone, I'm Udaya Nandipati from Miracles Innovation Labs. And this video is all about Kara, a retail bot with Watson Assistant and Facebook Messenger. So let's get started and see how conversational chatbots helps in retail and sample dialogues from Kara. A quick live demo and where we can find these chatbots uh, is Facebook Messenger, where actually our chatbot Kara exists. Let's also check out benefits of having chatbot in retail and the technology used to build Kara. And finally, we can know how actually the Kara is working. So. What are chatbots? Chatbots are programs based on artificial intelligence that can simulate a human interaction by understanding user queries and providing a human-like response. Chatbots use a technology called natural language processing to understand human inputs either by voice or text and then applies context and provides output. While chatbots are still an evolving technology, they offer a wide array of ways that can enable personal communication with customers and help retailers provide a better buying experience across various customer touch points either through in-store, website, mobile or through any messaging channels like Facebook Messenger and Skype. Chatbots can be effectively used by retailers to provide an effortless buying experience for the buyers and making them more satisfied than ever. And you know what? Nowadays, people don't want more functionalities. They already have seen too many functionalities. The most modern applications today are about having less UI, a single button that does a tremendous amount of change. And that magic can be done by chatbots, by setting on messaging channels like Facebook Messenger and Skype. And of course, we don't want to talk to the chatbot. We want something to happen with the minimum amount of interaction. And through chatbots, you can find out status of the order that you placed and you can search for the product which is already there in your mind. This can also answer questions that you might have on the product or about the particular store and finding nearby stores. It also provides promotions based on the offers either by daily or weekly or if any bumper sales that is going on. You can also raise a ticket or an instant if you have any issues with product that you received. Here is a sample conversation with Kara when your customer wants to know the status of his order that he placed earlier. And here is another example when he wanted to know if that particular store is available near to his place. These are some of the benefits. It helps us in taking up repetitive tasks and respond back, helps retailers by having customers to interact more with it and also responds back quickly without waiting time. And I just want to add a word of caution while using chatbots in retail. Though chatbots have a lot of potentials, they are still an emerging technology. If you properly utilize them, you can definitely outshine from your competitors. But they still cannot replace the effectiveness of your help desk and ground staff. Chatbots have a long way to go to address all type of customer concerns. You should always offer an escape route while giving solutions with chatbots like, I see that you are not satisfied with the response. Let me connect you with one of our customer care executives. Overall, they are still very useful and you should definitely move forward to including them in your innovation strategy. Now, I'll be showing you a live demo of how actually Kara works. You can see here, this is our Facebook page, Kara Merkel Shuko. Let's get started and interact with Kara. As it is my first interaction, I wanted to greet Kara. So I'm going to give hi to it. And it replies back to me saying that, Hi, I'm Kara. How can I help you today? Let's try greeting her once again. Even if I greet her in another language, which is Spanish, it replies back to me in Spanish. Let's switch to the full mode of Messenger for clear visibility. Oh, look at here, it is showing me the promotions of the day, uh, that 60% of on all Jordans. If I wanted to check out, I can just click on it or else I can continue with Kara for what I am looking for. Let me ask her what she can do and what are her capabilities. It replies back to me saying that it can help me out by finding a store, getting order information of the orders that I placed and log an instant if any. First, let me go with getting order information. It 
it asks you to enter the order number to get the details and my order number is as it has to fetch the details from Merkel Shoe Corp database it asks for authentication let's log in with the credentials I have submitted credentials were correct. I was successfully able to log in and I also got the status of the order that I placed earlier. Next, let me log an incident on the order that I placed earlier. Bot says it creates an incident and asks for the order number and the order number is 12345. It says a support request has been created and gives the reference number of the incident. We can also directly cancel the order if we don't want that particular product. As you can see, it didn't ask me for the order number. It is fetching from the previous conversations. Now, it asks for the reason. I got mismatched. It says your order has been cancelled successfully. As the order is cancelled, let's go and ask order status of the particular product again. It shows me the status that the order JR12345 is cancelled. Let's go with another functionality finding the nearest store. It asks for zip code. If user is aware of zip code, he can enter it directly. Or if he is not aware of it, he can directly enter the place. And I will give no way. And it brings out store details along with the map. Next functionality that Kara handles is changing shipping address. It asks for new address. And this is the new address that I entered. Yes, I want to update. And it says shipping address is updated. Now, let me check the status of my another order. And it brings out the status of my order and it also shows the, uh, the shipping address which was changed. Hey, we got another uh, promotions uh, from Kara and here are the different promotions as you can select any one of them uh, it navigates to another page where you can find out the offers for now we are navigating to MerkleSoft.com now let's try uploading a shoe image I wanted to see similar product is available in Merkle Shoe Corp or not as you can see it brought the same view and along with the other suggestions now let me try uploading another one same type of shoe is not available but similar product is available I mean you can see that say it brought all the Nike shoes now let me try uh, uploading another one which is not related to shoes and it says sorry this product is not available we will only offer shoes of various brands alright a car can also answer general FAQs asked by customers for example If I asked about return policy, it replied back to me uh, with some sort of information. Let me ask the same question in different language. 
uh, I asked it in Spanish and it replied back to me in Spanish with the same information. Now, escalating to an agent, we have this feature in it. If user is not happy with the bot or if user wants to talk to an agent, these type of situations can also be handled by this bot. If I say, As I was frustrated, uh, bot asked whether it need to connect to an agent. And if user says yes, the request will go to the live agent. Whoever the agent accepts the request, the previous chat history of the customer can be seen here. And from here, he can start conversation with the customer. And here you can see that bot stopped uh, replying and from instead of bot uh, your live agent is replying to him if user says hello i got my minus two please help me with that And here got uh, the customer response, and agent might reply back saying, "Once the conversation between the agent and the customer is done, agent might click on end chart, or user might stop the conversation." And it says chat session ended by an agent, and here it shows on the customer side your chat has been ended with the live agent. And from here, whatever user asks, the bot will reply back. And these are the functionalities currently Kara handles. See, user said uh, thank you, and here from now on, bot is replying back to him. Thanks. Good to hear. Let me know if you need anything else. And here ends our demo part. Let's switch to the presentation. Technology is used to build Kara. We use Node.js as a programming language. And we have the entire bot backend up and running on IBM Bluemix Cloud. We use Cloud and NoSQL database, and to interact with human agents, we have picked up Salesforce Live Agent. These are the few cognitive services that are used in the demo, and these are dubbed from Watson Developer Cloud. Here comes our architecture. Whenever user requests or sends any message in Facebook Messenger, it checks for user authentication. Once it identifies user identity, sends the user message to bot middleware, which is Node.js, and from there to our NLP, which is Watson Assistant, where it gets trained on all user requests beforehand. And our bot middleware will also interact with cognitive services whenever required, and again based on user message. It also checks in Cloud and Database if customers ask for order details or user details or for order information. And this application is also integrated to Salesforce Live Agent platform whenever customers want to interact with human agents. And finally, the entire application is running on IBM Bluemix Cloud. I also have few tips for you. If you are excited and want to build a chatbot, go for a ready-made solution if you don't want to invest much in a chatbot. However, remember that such solutions cannot be customized to your needs. Use a chatbot platform. They let you create your own chatbot even if you are not a techie. And the last, build your bot from scratch. Building a bot from scratch allows you to tailor the chatbot exactly to your business goals and needs. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.